Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 11 of FTB Revelation. Uh, today, I want to get a few things going on. I want to make my AE system better, I want to automate all the things, because that's the kind of game that we play. And I also wanted to get into Flux Networks a little bit today. Um, so I started looking at that because I'm... One of the things I want to do in order to prepare for better AE is I need more wool. I'm going to need a lot of wool so that I can turn my cables into covered cables into smart cables so I can see my channels. Because that's a good time. I like that. Um, with that said, uh, I want to create like an auto sheep shearing system over in the sheep farm that I set up at the end of last episode. Uh, and to do that, I think I would like some wireless power transfer. So that sounds like a good time for me, right? So overall, not a terrible uh, uh, approach to, to doing stuff. Looks pretty straightforward and easy to make flux plugs and flux networks and all the standard stuff. None of this has really changed from the last time I played with flux networks, except for how to make flux. In the past, you used to drop your redstone into lava and it would turn into flux. Now, it looks like it's a little different. Uh, you place an obsidian above uh, bedrock with an air space in between them. You put your redstone in between them and then you left click on the obsidian and it'll fall and smush the redstone and turn it into flux. So I played with this a little bit before I started recording here just so I could really test it out. Um, I think I'm gonna magnet that up, aren't I? I see the particles saying yeah. But we do that and then left click. And then boom, look at that, sweet. How cool is that? Uh, in addition, between episodes I did a bunch of mining. And because I was doing a bunch of mining, I wanted to improve my mining performance. And thus I, hey, I'm talking here. Uh, with that in mind, ah, sneaky monsters. Uh, I, I went ahead and upgraded my flux bore. So really easy peasy. Uh, Enderium and Lumium, right? Uh, and, and, and the previous tier of that was uh, Signalum and Petrothium. So now I can mine in a 5x5 five five pattern rather than 3x3. Three three. It also has 3x3x3 three 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 or 5x5. Five five. And look how fast it is because I also threw Efficiency 5 on there. So this is like our mining speed right now. And I'm okay with this. I'm totally okay with this being my mining speed right now. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so that's what mining looks like. Uh, so five by five, right? Um, totally, totally cool. And uh, I think it's neat. So I hope you guys uh, aren't too disappointed that I applied that enchant without you. I figured you guys have seen people put enchants on items before, so that's okay. Uh, I just want to do a bunch of mining between episodes, like I said, and that was the easiest way to go about it, right? So not a big deal. So now that we've got some flux and some obsidian uh, and some other things, let's look at how we're going to sheep shear. Uh, so I think industrial foregoing is in the pack, yes? Yes. All right, so in order to get what we want to do, first we need an animal rancher. That's what's going to shear the sheep and get us wool. Sounds like a good time. However, in order to get that, there's a few things we're going to need. First off, we're going to either need a machine frame or a simple machine chassis from Ender.io, which we should have one or the other. And if not, we can make very easily. In addition, we need plastic. So to get plastic going, we're going to need the latex processing unit and the tree fluid extractor. So I've queued up all the items that we need to make here. Right, so let's start off with uh, this guy, right? So tree fluid extractor seems pretty straightforward, right? Bada bing, bada boom, we've got our tree fluid extractor. Usually I like to have um, a few of those. So let me get three more of them um, because the tree fluid extractors, um, if you guys haven't seen this before, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you how it works. But basically uh, you put them next to wood and they'll generate uh, tree fluid from the woods so um, if you put four around the wood, it's a little bit faster than if you just have one going. Cool. So there's your tree fluid extractor. Then we're going to need the latex processing unit. Not a terrible um, bit of gadgetry here. This turns the tree fluid that we're making into uh, latex items when combined with... Okay, we don't have any simple machine chassis. That's fair enough. I guess I could just do that. We're going to need two of them. So let's just get one ready, right? So latex processing unit, boom. Not a problem. Uh, that'll make us the uh, latex that we need to, to turn into plastic, right? So the tiny dry rubber comes from the latex processing unit, combines into dry rubber, which is then smelted into plastic. Really simple and straightforward process, um, but you know, it is what it is. So there's probably gonna be a few methods of, of wireless power transfer, right? 
All right, so the next thing I'm doing is throwing some nether quartz into the alloy smeltery so we can get ourselves some fused quartz. Um, I'm gonna use the, and let's switch to the Yetta wrench here. I'm gonna use the Endo.io conduiting for this stuff because Endo.io conduiting is cool. I just like it. It's just good times all around. There we go. So now I should be able to do some fluid conduits here. Nice, okay, cool. Um, and then in addition to that, what other conduits? Should we go with basic energy conduits or should we go with the enhanced ones? Enhanced sounds like a nice time just because we already have some of the resources for it. Okay, cool. Um, nice, let's go downstairs and, and ooh, look at all these advancements we just got. Woohoo, looking good. All right, let's turn this off. Let's put you in three by three mode for a minute because I'm totally gonna want to drill into here for this. And what I'm thinking I might want to do, we have item conduits, right? Yep, and we're gonna want a drawer, I think. So let's make one of those if we can. Nice. That's right, I put my key in my backpack. I knew that. I knew what I did. I knew what past Direwolf did. Okay, so you're getting power. How do you work? That's right, you feed power into there. I'm not looping down. Okay, fair enough. Wow, that is fast. Like, holy cow, that is fast. Gotta love it. I haven't, I haven't unified whether I'm using item ducks or not. Holy cow, that is fast. Vanilla enchantments are pretty powerful, to be fair, guys. To be fair. Like, I know I know my new mod mining gadgets, people are like, it's really fast, Direwolf. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's literally based on diamond pickaxe speeds. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's all good. So what if we popped down here with this? Let's put you on one by one mode because we don't want to accidentally all the things. Um, so like what I'd love to do is, can I do that? I can do that, nice, okay, cool. So then I can run you down here. Because realistically, you don't want you don't want your power coming off your machines going into your running machines like this. Like that's not a good time. So we want to avoid doing that. So for now we'll stick with this, and if we change it up. Did these guys connect to this dude? I suspect really they don't. You guys don't connect? That's funny. I would expect them to connect. Why are you no connecting? Huh. Well, today I learned. That's okay. So we're going to want our latex processing unit, and we're going to want our tree fluid extractor, right? So here's how this guy's going to work, right? Oh, I don't want you to connect to that. No, sir. No lava for you. But you're going to get power. Okay. Uh, so that's going to process the latex. And then what I'll usually set up is something like this. Well, maybe I want to move it over one more. Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. So that's going to be a thing in a minute. But for now, I believe I want you guys facing away, right? But I can rotate with this dude. Cool. Now, you place... A log right there and these guys start filling up with latex cool and then we can get our pressurized fluid conduits and what I'm gonna do is just feed them right into there now are you gonna auto extract you're not so what we want to do is extract always active extract always active and that's cool. Now they're emptying their latex and all that's going in there. Okay? So all the latex is going into this guy. The other thing this guy needs is water. So uh, that shouldn't be too hard to accomplish with our current setup because we already have a water thing. That's why I chose to put it down there. We've got a basic fluid duct. I'll just do the thing. It's a little bit tight, but it'll be fine. 
right? So now you're getting water, and the latex processing unit is making tiny dry rubber for us. Easy peasy. Now the one other thing I like to do, because this does actually eat up, eat up the, the oak wood block, right? Um, so what we want to do is get a mechanical user, which is this dude. So we're going to need a dropper, and we're going to need a lever. Probably going to need a lot of those before the series is done, to be fair. And we get our mechanical user. How are we on resonating redstone crystals? Not bad. Remember, they're a rare drop from redstone ore. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just break this oak wood here. I didn't super intend to do all that, but yeah. And that. And we want to do place block. Ta-da! How cool is that? Nice. Okay. So place block's a thing. And these guys are doing their latex processing. So that'll get us a bunch of dry rubber for now. Um, if we wanted to be super cool about it. What's an enderman doing in my basement? Also, hi, enderman. I would love to murder you. And take some of your ender pearls. Thank you for four ender pearls. You were very generous with your drops right there. So do we want to do, like, a drawer? That would be neat, right? And we could just item conduit straight into that thing. Yay! How cool is that? I like it. That's pretty neat, right? It's super automated. Now, at some point, we'll do, like, an export bus of wood into the user there, so that we, like, constantly are producing the stuff. Uh, but for now, I don't think that's necessary, right? I think we'll we'll get there once we get there. Nice. I like it. See, I'm trying to be nice and neat here. I think I'm doing a successful job. Uh, so how many of these do we need? Is it 36 for four? Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Hooray, dry rubber. And that can be smelted and turned right into plastic. Beautiful. All right, and with that plastic now, we can totally make our animal rancher. So we're gonna want a couple of you, and a couple of you, which I did go mining between episodes, so we have a bit more gold now than we did before, and we've got an animal rancher, sweet. All right, so this guy's gonna go outside. Now for that, we should also look at making our flux stuff, right? So let's look at our flux stuff. I would like to have a flux controller if I may, um, I don't know if I need flux storage, though I might want it at some point. We'll see. We'll see. For now, I don't think I'm going to make it just yet. Also, that whole automation of flux, I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. That sounds particularly tricky. But I think it would be actually fun to automate. I'm thinking about it in my brain, and I'm like, yeah, I can do that, right? We can have, like, an item detector uh, scanning for an item sitting on a block space. I think that's totally automatable. That whole process we just did with the obsidian falling... And the left clicking? Yeah, that, that sounds like fun. Okay, but enough theory crafting on how I'm going to do that. Uh, so I went ahead and made some flux blocks, and I made some flux cores, and we're good to go here. So I've got my flux controller. That'll be a good time. We want to add energy to the flux network. We want one of these. Oh, man, we need more of these guys. That's brutal. Uh, these guys are a little bit not terrible, but they need eyes of ender, which, you know, I just used up all my ender pearls, but that's okay. There's a night time coming at some point. Uh, so I'm going to want at least, did I just make a bunch of flux scores or am I crazy? Oh no, I just, I just made the, right, I only made the eyes of ender. All right, so I am crazy, but that, that's a surprise to no one. Uh, so we'll want one of these and we want the flux plug that adds energy to the flux network. And then we're going to want the flux point, which is a little bit cheaper. It removes energy. So that's probably a good starting point for all the stuff we're going to want. So let's install our flux controller, right? So to set this up, ooh, things are a little bit different. They look a little bit different. I like this. Network selection, ooh. There's sounds now. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Okay, so we're gonna create a new network. Uh, that would be this button. Darwin's Ways Network, yes. Hey, look, colors. Yeah, I'm gonna go with blue. That seems cool to me. Darwin's Ways Network. Ooh, there's a password you can put on it? That's cool. Public encrypted password. I'm going to make it public only because I'm giving this to you guys as a world download, right? Uh, but that's neat. All right, so let's create that network. Boom. 
Hey, all right, sort by ID, Daryl 20s network, I like it. Network settings, network members, hey, it's me, Daryl 20. Ooh, look at this, average tick, nice, that's pretty spiffy. Network connections is the flux controller, wireless charging, ooh yeah. That's cool, enable wireless. Sweet, armor slots, bauble slots, I like that. That's nifty. Main inventory disabled. Bobble slots. Oh. Hotbar slots. Right and left hand. Sure. Charge all the things. I'm down with that. I like it. Surge mode. Transfer limit. Okay, cool. We might want to play with some of these numbers later, but for now, that looks pretty spiffy. So now let's plug our plug on here. And you're going to select a network. Okay. Oh, look at that. Cool. We're inputting at a thousand hour of a tick. Sweet. So I'm guessing you might be charging something? Yeah, you're probably charging this guy. Awesome. So why are you all flickery? That's my question. I'm thinking if I disable. Yes. So see how that's. Okay. Unless you already finished charging, my dude. You did! Ha, <laughs> nice. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. It already finished charging it up. All right. I didn't like the flickering thing, but it might be related to... Oh, look at that. Neat. You can edit it from there. This is definitely a little bit fancier, fancier than it was before. Disable limit. Yeah, we don't need no limits. Chunk loading. Look at that. It'll automatically chunk load things for me? Well, that's fancy. So that's my network. All right, that's for the plug. Okay, that's for the plug. All right, so if I want if I want the point to be chunk loaded, right? That sounds fun. So let's come over here and check this bad boy out, right? So we're totally going to want Let's set this dude up kind of here. So now talk to me about Yeah, I know sheep. Talk to me about your range. So you go up one. Oh, well that's interesting. So what I could have, I want to try expanding the range here. Yeah, I did that, didn't I? You know what else I would love to have? Super sound muffler. Good times right there, let me tell you. Uh, let me get my wool and then we'll make one of those. That sounds good. So uh, with that said, what we want to do is the following. Uh, let's 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 get our range upgrades. So I think the range increases the size, right? So like by default it's one by one. A range one, I want to say it's gonna be three by three. So two three range three upgrade. Right? Is that where we want to be? Um, now also I've let this run for quite a while here. Oh hello, you're doing that thing, huh? Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need power storage for applied energistics. We've run into this in the past, right? So a range plus three add-on is where we're probably gonna wanna be. Hey, that's not where I wanna be. So what happens if I pop this into here? What's the range look like? Is that pretty much all the sheeps? It is. Perfect. But see how it goes above one? So what I'm probably going to want to do... Show working area and pop this dude in. And now you're going to cover all the sheep. Look at that. Beautiful. So let's get this guy set up. Now what's my chunk looking like? Wow, you are right on a chunk boundary, but that's okay. Good job, Direwolf, putting it right on the chunk boundary like that. But that's okay. So we're going to select Direwolf 20's network. Hey, look, it's already snipping. Beautiful. <laughs> that's perfect. It worked great. All right. Now I forget. Um, is this area already chunk loaded by me? It's totally not. So how about I just chunk load it like this, right? And that should be fine. Okay, I'm down with that. Look how much wool we're getting already, right? All right, so let's get a drawer. Wireless crafting terminal to-do. 100% a to-do on my to-do list is make a wireless crafting terminal. 
That and auto crafting, among other things. So I'm gonna pop you there. We'll set this up like that. And then your west will be extract always active, and your up will be insert. And ta da! We've got wool. Very cool. All right, so lots and lots of wool coming in now. So now I can make my sound muffler, which is a good time for sure, right? So all we need is one of these, and we're gonna need one of these, and we're gonna need some of this. And check this out. I love Super Sound Muffler. It's like my favorite by far. So we're gonna add recent sounds, ambient sheep. Ho oh, ho, blacklisted. And we're gonna bobble that up. Goodbye, sheep sounds. Goodbye. No more sheep sounds from me. How great is that? Super Sound Muffler is, in my opinion, the best of the Sound Muffler mods. Like, it should be a, it should be a staple in every pack. It is super good. Um, I mean, it's just the perfect, I don't want to hear this annoying sound over and over and over again mod. That's what it is. And it's so good at what it does. So, yeah. Super Sound Muffler, thumbs up in my book. Okay, so next up for me would be I'd like to get a little bit of auto crafting going if I can. And I think that would be smart, right? So to get that going, we're gonna need a molecular assembler. Yes, yes. Molecular assembler, which needs formation cores and quartz glass and those things. Cool. So let me get one of these, because we're gonna want one molecular assembler and a few interfaces just to get the ball rolling. Um, and then once we get some basic auto crafting going, we can expand it. Um, and this won't be like a let's auto craft all the things series. I mean, it will, but it won't be on camera that way. So what you'll see is I'll like, if, if it's like an interesting auto craft, I'll probably do it on camera. But if it's like a lot of steps that are like repetitive and you've seen before, you probably, I'll just do some of it off camera, right? That's kind of the plan, right? So like the advanced subscribers, right? We've done that before in other series, but I'm going to do it in this one, right? But if it's just like a simple making a pattern in the pattern terminal thing, yeah, we're going to we're gonna want to do that a little bit better. So applied energistics, we're going to want the pattern terminal. Uh, we're going to want the interface terminal. And we're going to want some interfaces and we're going to want some molecular assemblers. That should be all cool. I think I added them to my to-do list last episode, but then I since removed them to my to-do list because I'm not a smart person and I wasn't paying attention when I removed them earlier. So, whoops, that's okay. They're back now and everybody's happy about that. So now uh, we're gonna want basically four of these, right? So flux, and what else is involved in this? You need charged or pure Certus Quartz or regular Certus Quartz. Oh, that's right. You know, I went mining, but I went mining at a deep Y level where there's no Certus Quartz. Because like I said, not a very smart man. Um, so let's put some junk away, put you away. And I'm gonna put you away. And I think what I need to do is pop into my mining cave real quick and show you guys how fast I mine now that I've got this awesome drill. So again, it was around Y level 40-ish that you're gonna find in this pack at least, your best and brightest. So that's 47, so that was another thing I was looking for. Here's 40, right? So let's pop down here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How great is that? I mean, that's just, that's just, ooh, hey, what's up, oil? Hello, nice to see you, sir. Like, that's cool, right? Hey, Iridium. I don't know what that's all used for. I know it's rare-ish, but yeah. So we're looking for Certus and or Charge Certus. Oh, look, there's some. Boom. Boom. There's more. Boom. How great is that, huh? Like, I mean, I struggle to think of a better mining tool than this. I mean, short of like Project E or, you know, that stuff, Equivalent Exchange. Um, you know, short of those mods, you're, you're not going to find a much better tool, especially at this early stage, right? Like this is episode 11 and we've got this and I could have had this even earlier, right? Like if I, if I had, if I had beelined for things like, um, enough levels for the enchantment, cause all it really is, is just the drill with the efficiency enchant, right? That that's all that's making it that fast. I should, I should totally get like a haste ring, right? That would be cool. Advanced ring of haste. 
Sigil of haste. Ooh, now we're talking. I just want to see, like, how ridiculous I can get it. Because I suspect the answer is very. I suspect I could make this drill really stupidly fast. And that would be fun for me. So how do we do on Sardis? We're at, like, almost a stack already, which is great. What's that stuff? Slate from Cork. Okay. Neat. That seems cool. Now, to be fair, we're definitely draining a lot of power for this, even to the point where our, our, our flux capacitor can't keep up with the recharging of it. Um, so we're draining really quickly. Because remember, we only have a basic capacitor back at our base, right? So it can only support like a thousand RF a tick. So we're definitely using more than a thousand RF a tick to mine at this speed. And we can see that because our thing here is less than full, right? So the fact that it's 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 taking more energy than it's using right now means that this is a very expensive mining operation. That said, it's still pretty cool. All right, so I've got a little bit more than a stack now. Let's get out of here. Hello, spider. And now we're done mining. I thought you guys would enjoy seeing uh, how fast that that resonant flux bore is. Like, it's super fast, right? Now let's turn it off 5x5 five five mode before I accidentally mine up my base, which I've already done about half a dozen times, and will probably happen a lot more throughout this series. That said, I'm just putting all my stuff in here for now, and we'll, you know, do more later. Also, I have a bunch of ores in here that I haven't processed. I'm basically accumulating all the ores in my AE system, so in a future episode, in a nearby future episode, I can go ahead and automate that, right, and have all the ores handy to program into my export bus. That's the plan there, at least. Um, but with that said, I should now be able to take my uh, Fluix crystals and grind them up. Did I catch it in time? I did. So good. How great is that? Let's do about eight of them. Does that sound fair? So we'll do half of them. Okay. Um, and then my molecular assembler. Boom. Let's get... Mm, let's get that many. And that should be that many. And that's perfect. That's perfect. So now we can get one molecular assembler. And we can get four interfaces, right? So that puts them down. Let's get the pattern terminal going on. Oh, we're going to need another one of those, aren't we? Oh, no, we're actually pretty good. Okay, cool. So what do I need here? Did I need some kind of glass? No, it's a logic processor. Right. Gold. We always need more logic processors. That's like... Applied Energistics is very gold hungry. And considering that's the resource I have the least amount of right now, it's not helping me. I even did a lot of mining between episodes, and gold is just rare. I don't know if it's just like the world gen in this pack or what it is, but gold is rare. So we're going to need to to deal with that at some point. Yeah. So there's your ME terminal. We're going to get that to a pattern terminal, which needs a crafting terminal, which just needs a crafting table. Right, and then you can do pattern terminal, which is going to need a diamond. So that would be this guy. I got to get some speed upgrades in these guys too. And I'm going to move them to the basement, and we're going to automate them. There's a lot of things we got to do, but yeah, we'll get there. This is like my favorite part of the pack, when there's like so many things I want to do, and I'm just like, we got to do this, and we got to do that, and then there's this other thing we got to work on. Like, it's just all around a good time. Right, so pattern terminal can go there. Now is that? That's the thermal. So I want facade for applied energistics, and boom! Oh, wrong facade. There we go. Uh, that is the wrong facade. So what do we got here? This chiseled stone? You can go away, and that's that. Perfect, looking good. Okay, cool, so now we've got our pattern terminal here. We can make a few patterns. 
How great is that? And then we will set up our first auto crafting gig. Now, um, what I'll probably wind up doing is doing the basement thing and doing those big upside down tree structures for auto crafting. But clearly we don't have the resources or structure or anything for that just yet. So what we'll probably start with. Um, so right now, I'm sure my channels are already a mess. And that is literally a surprise to no one. But what I should have is I should have anchors stopping these two guys from connecting. Like that's what I should be doing, right? Because this is two channels for my two things. And this is one channel. And if this was going over here, not connected, it would be two, right? So if I set up anchors here real quick, that would at least split it up. Can I do that? So I can do that, right? And that'll bring you back online. So now it's two to the right and two to the bottom, right? Does that seem fair? Uh, I think that's an accurate statement. Cool. All right, so if we just wanna real quick get the basics of a molecular connector here. And here's the thing, I feel like we're getting pretty close to yield wrapping up point. And I think we just used the last of our cabling here. So can I make a little bit more of you? Would that be groovy? Pulverizer, go. Give me at least two. And the rest we will make because we're still gonna need them anyway. Thank you. You actually get a decent amount of cabling for that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you really do. Um, so what if we just did, again, super temporary, right? Cool, and that should be neat. So I should be able to just pop this dude in here. Network Apprentice. Sweet. Now if I wanted to make a pattern, we should see that we have the basic ability to do that. And you're going to say you're missing quartz glass. And that's okay, because we'll get some quartz glass. I guess my quartz glass should be made with crushed quartz, because quartz is easier to come by than... Ew, don't do that. Also, you should be this, and you should be... Boop, boop, burp, boop. So now if I want you to craft that, no crafting CPUs are available. Ah, oh, that's right, I forgot crafting CPUs. I always forget those in Applied Energistics. So we're gonna want like a 4K crafting unit. I always forget about these guys. So what we're gonna want is, luckily I made some logic processors in advance. Good job, Direwolf. All right, and then we'll do a quickie 4K. And then a quickie crafting unit. Yay, we have the things for it. Sweet. That is cool. So let's just pop you there for a minute, right? And that just connects you to the drive on the right side. So it's going to be one of the channels going off to the right. And now, can you make a pattern? <gasps> I can. Yay! We've got auto crafting, guys. Clearly, we have some more to do. But... The basics are there. So let's come back next episode. We'll expand on our auto crafting abilities. I might do more mining between now and then because I need more gold and more Certus. Uh, and probably more Nether Quartz because I'm just burned a bunch. But yeah, that should be awesome. All right, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.